Get ready for the next battle. Here we go, everyone. The final stretch. The last five levels of this infernal challenge. And I forgot that we don't have a bazooka as Coco. Here we go, everyone. The last five levels of this infernal challenge. I am playing as Coco on the level Night Time, which in the original balls. Fuck, I'm. You can't die. Oh shit. Which in the original version of this game that came out on PS2, this would be pitch black right now. So. Yeah, I'm playing the inferior, I guess you could say inferior, you know, to keep it all crash related. The inferior version of this level, whereby I can actually see everything. It's easier than the PS2 version, but it is obviously more boring since the whole theme of this level, you know, night time, night. So, yeah, it kind of ruins the sort of aesthetic. Oh shit, there was another crate behind there. But yeah, it ruins the kind of aesthetic, I guess, of the levels. Let's see if, like, that crate was necessary anyway. Well, I died, so yes. If you watched my stream the other day, you will be aware that I got all of the remaining box gems, as well as, quote-unquote, the hidden gems as well, because each of these levels actually have two gems. But... I quote unquote got the hidden gems because they don't show up if you've already got a complete save file, which this save file is. So I kind of just double checked to see if I went to the part in the level where they were. And like, you know, jumped up to thin air to show that I got it. But yeah, that's obviously on my channel under the live section. You can watch me go through and get the box gems. To be honest, it's not the most exciting thing in the world as most of these levels. You can see why they were relegated to a secret fifth warp room. Sorry, sixth warp room afterthought. But didn't realize that my aqua would run out there. And yeah, they had been relegated to that because th this level's half decent. It's not like mind-blowing, but it's okay. Um, and yeah, the other levels are all like vehicle levels as well. Um, I think so anyway. Yeah, Nitro. So yeah, the, the levels aren't really the be-all end-all. They're definitely forgettable levels. Most of them are not, like I'd even say they're not very good overall, but you know, Solar Bowler was okay. Um, this level was okay. Um, the rest of the levels were kind of shit. Like, one of the levels you could definitely, like, argue is, like, Boom Bang level of bad, which is the level after this one. Really sucks. Then you've got a Superman 64 knockoff. And it has to be bad if it's anything like Superman 64, right? Oh. Oh, could have bounced across there. That would have been fine. Jump up, please. Okay. Oh man, triple Aku is actually something you don't want there. You will actually just fall through the TNTs. I'm obviously used to Crash 4 at the moment, um, you know, modern Crash 4. It's so annoying that I have to quantify and qualify what I mean by Crash 4. But um, yeah, it's obvious that I'm used to that because on that game when you land on a TNT with triple Aku, you do sort of stay on it. Um, if you have triple Aku so that you can just, you know, run off it straight after. I'm already like two seconds behind because of some tomfoolery. But yeah, Caddy has, I almost forgot to mention, Caddy has a time of like 43 seconds. Um, and the plat time is 50 seconds. So, you know, his time was a really big improvement over the plat, plat time. And I saw a common theme actually through all of his final five levels is that some of his best work in this game is on the final five levels. I'd say the only somewhat like mediocre time that he got was on um which one was it? It was the the Superman 64 helicopter one, helipad one. His time on that was rather mediocre. But aside from that, he actually did really well on all the other levels. Oh, there we go. We lost a mass, so we can get that one now. 
It'd actually be better to keep the mask and just ignore going for the other mask, though, so that we can, you know, save time instead of going for an extra crate. Shit, we were doing so well then. Piss off. My goal on this one is to try not to get too angry. I, like, I've, I've watched through my Wrath playthroughs, and I start off, like, so optimistic. That was shit, I'm gonna restart. I started off, like, so optimistic, and then just gradually descended into anger. Definitely by, like, War Room 4, I was just, like, you can see the noticeable difference in my attitude towards this game. I was just, like, so done with it shit. But I'm gonna try and end the series with a positive outlook. Like, overall, it's been a good time. Overall, I've had a lot of fun. It's just, as as you try and grind relic times, rage is just a natural part of it. It's not really something that you want your runs to be remembered for, but it is the case regardless. So if anyone needs to ask, you know, does Toonie like this game? The answer is yes, I do. I like, like, having played this game through, I've definitely really enjoyed it a lot more than I've not enjoyed it. Um, but I would maintain the if it was a choice between playing this game and the other ones, then I would uh, uh, I would definitely play the original Crash games. So I'd definitely play the Insane Trilogy again before I would consider doing this one again. I don't think it's the kind of game that I would ever 100%, like total 100% ever again. You know, this is actually, believe it or not, will have been my first time 100%ing it. Um, in its totality. The most I'd had before had been around 10 to 12 relics, something like that, uh, as a kid. I'd never bothered to actually 100% this game before. So, yeah. Oh, no, 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 no. That's unfortunate. But yeah, I can I can actually, you know, say I've done it. I've beaten this, this video game. The, a game that I played a lot when I was a kid, when it first came out on PS2. I played this game for a really, really long time. Probably over the course of like two years, I kept coming back to it. This is not a very good time. We've messed up the Aku thing for starters. Might still be a caddy beating time though if I don't die. Shit! Triple Aku really does betray you on this game. It's actually funny. Like most of this, um, most of this series, I've been praising like the intuition that they put into the Aku Aku things, like the extended timer on it when you get another box on Triple Aku, yada yada yada. But it does have like that's clearly a really big annoyance is that you actually get punished in this game for having, um, oh shit, 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 that's the crate that Caddy missed. You do, you do get punished apparently for going too fast with Triple Aku, which is quite annoying. Oh, frig off, yeah, fuck that. Lucky attempt 13. As we get into the end of the series, I'm pretty sure, unless like I have, um, a really big pop up on one of the levels, like sort of like maybe I know missing a really simple time crate or something like that. Um, I will beat Caddy's time and then just move on to the next level. Like if I, I know, let's say I missed one of those boxes right there, I'd be like, okay, well that's some really obvious time save that I could get. Let's do the level again. But if I can get all of the boxes and still beat Caddy, what the frig? Um, then I'll be happy to move on from this level and just go to the next one. Like I said in the previous episode, I'm ready to move on from Wrath. And if you're not familiar with my future plans, obviously Crash 4 is something that I'm looking at. I'm very, very slowly working my way through the game standardly to get to the point where I feel comfortable enough to do the relics. I had a lot of benefits in even this game, more so the original trilogy, but this game as well. I've played them before um, extensively as a kid. So I did have that sort of, what do you call it, familiarity with the games, whereby I, I could just pick the games up basically and get stuck on pillars apparently. I, I could pick the game up basically and, you know, know where I'm going, 
know the levels to some extent so it was pretty easy for me to get familiar with you know the, the best relic strategies if you like but with crash 4 i've only been through the game casually before so i'm quite unfamiliar with the levels it's like I, I got to like world 3 the asian world and was just like you know what i'm not even going to bother doing this game properly i'm just going to get to the end of all of the levels and so it became just like a speed run to the end and i was just seeing how quickly I could get to the end of the levels without even thinking about boxes and things like that. Much more fun way to play the game, not gonna lie. Fuck, I forgot again. I forgot again about that. I had to double check. I, I don't know why I'm getting stuck on there. there. There must be like the smallest like hitbox there. That's actually not a bad way to save time, actually. If, you, if you're going to lose your Aqua on something, that's probably a fine place to lose it. Alright, we was quite lucky with the cycle there, despite a couple of shenanigans going on earlier in the level. Okay, get that. All right, that we did that correctly this time, and it probably is overall a time save to get the Aku just to be sure. Right, I think I got every box 35 16. All right, let's make our goal nice and simple, shall we? Um, like, I'm really happy with that time. I think that's a completely fine time. But let's make our goal nice and simple. I just want to... I'm going to beat that one time once. Because I got all of the boxes. Um, I can save a little bit of time by being more familiar with the level. Just by playing it a bit more. But I don't believe there's all that much time save that I can have on this level, to be honest. That's definitely some time save. But yeah, we're just going to beat our time once and then, you know... Fuck. And then fuck. Yeah, we're gonna make sweet, sweet love. We missed the box. This is not a run. This is definitely not the run. Let's hide that. I got. Uh, I think I beat Caddy on attempt 15 anyway, right? It was like 14 or 15. I'm just turning off the attempt count now since it doesn't matter anymore. But it didn't take me that long to beat Caddy's what I'm getting at. Like, 50, I, I see like beating um, one of the target times in like less than 20 attempts on any stage a win. Like that's a, a really fast amount of time to beat someone who's already beating, you know, a Platinum Relic. Especially as that person, you know, has also probably, probably put in several attempts to get to the point where they're beating the Platinum Relic. Yeah, this level's fine. It's, it's, it's okay. Not like uh, groundbreaking or anything like that, but it's a completely, you know, fun level. It's definitely like a six and a half out of ten kind of level. Oh, even better. As long as we don't hit the mace here. There we go. We can save time by not getting the two Akus there, which is cool. We've missed out on triple Aku. But again, like, I, I'm not entirely sure. Someone would have to tell me the math, like someone who really knows this game, on whether or not triple Aku actually makes you go faster or not in this game. Because I actually genuinely don't know. Too bad you can't, like, just jump across there. That would actually be huge time save. Oh, we've actually crushed our time. I didn't really think that my time would be a time that I could beat much easier, to be honest, because, you know, that was, that was like, I felt like I had the first run through, I didn't really make any mistakes, so, I don't know, what do we do here, like, there's definitely like a little bit more time save I can get, like I got stuck on one of the obstacles, for example, but is it, is there enough time save where I can get sub 30, that's what I'm thinking.
Wow. We got sub 30 by completely following a shitty strat, to be honest. Um, turns out that you don't actually need to get those crates at the end there because you, if you freeze the time well enough, you can get sub 30 um, without even doing anything really special. All right, that's a good enough time. Um, I obviously made a lot of mistakes in that run. Believe it or not, that's the run, literally the, the attempt after um, the attempt I just did. So that was like attempt number like 16, 17, that kind of range, maybe 18 at worst. I don't remember, but it's not taking me that long and I'm happy with sub 30. So let's go back to the walk room. Oh, you mean... Oh, wait a minute, wait. You mean this? It's this. It's after this one, isn't it? That's what you mean. These ones. I'm pretty sure I got them all there. I'm almost certain I did. The time already looks better. Based on, based on my memory from how the last run went. Daisy, that was a bit messy, but I think I'm already doing a lot better. Go, 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 go. Oh fuck it! I've, I've I've missed it, but it's fine. It's under 50 seconds. Doesn't matter. Doesn't matter. Doesn't matter. Wow! Seven seconds knocked off. I really did miss the, miss that time crate, didn't I? Jesus Christ! Good. Oh dear. So that has been night time. Tune in for the next episode. In the next episode, I'm going to be doing Ghost Town, High Station Bandicoot, and Force of Nature all in one video. That's going to be what I do. And then we will do Solar Bowler actually as the final episode to round off Wrath of Cortex. And I plan to have completed this series by the end of this week. Uh, maybe I will put out a video every day or two days for this week just so that I can get through this. But thank you as always for watching. I hope you enjoyed night time. I certainly did. And of course that means we can say good night to that level. See you on the next one. Bye. Flawless victory. Fatality. Wow! 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 We did it.